And if there is any Staten police out there, I want to make a disclosure that I am not giving individual medical advice. Occasionally, I do prescribe statins. You have seen this slide before. Uh, fat and cholesterol are waxy substances. They do not dissolve in blood. Our blood is aqueous or watery, and in order to carry cholesterol, it creates these lipoprotein particles that have an outer coat that dissolves in blood, and they have identifying proteins that give it a functionality. So I wanted to go over what functions the lipoproteins do, and I thought one slide would be enough. But what we need to recognize is that there is millions of years of evolutionary engineering behind creating these molecules so that they help us with host defense. They fight bacteria. They mop up bacterial products. They modulate inflammation. Cholesterol is not a metabolic fuel. You cannot burn it, and it has to be removed, and it's removed in the biliary tree. It's the lipoproteins that create a cholesterol balance. When your cells are damaged, cells need to be repaired, and it's the lipoprotein molecules that do that. So I thought one slide would be enough, but it was not. So I had to create a second slide to show that the cholesterol is important in processing or, or functionality of your insulin receptor depends on cholesterol, because cholesterol-rich domains give it the structure it needs to function. Our sex hormones, the LDL supplies the raw materials for the sex hormones to be made. It's a carrier for fat-soluble vitamins. Dave Feldman has talked about energy delivery. It is the lipoprotein molecules that deliver energy. The CoQ10, which is an important part of our muscle function, is delivered through the lipoproteins. And who knew that prevention of vascular calcification that Jeff was talking about is also modulated because cholesterol is involved in converting vitamin K1 to K2, which prevents vascular calcification. So the question we should ask is that, should I tamper with these lipoproteins in general, or LDN in or LDL in particular, when millions of years of evolutionary engineering has given it so many different biologic functions that I have pointed out. And this list by no means is complete. What we need to recognize is that nature has already done some of this for us. And it has created a situation which is called a beta lipoproteinemia in which the LDL is absent. So we should think that a person with an absent LDL should live forever. So when we look at a group of these individuals, let's see what happens. They have a failure to thrive. They get recurrent infections. They get blindness. They get issues with regards to their neuromuscular function, in other words, movement disorders, they get a fatty liver, and instead of living forever, they die in their third or fourth decade. 